Hey guys, Simpsy here. Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2. We are playing on the Wrath of Sparta, DLC of Sparta, of course. Now, I have skipped uh, quite a few number of turns ahead. Um, and sorry about this, the upload schedule. This has been a little bit funny. Obviously, the Christmas break and uh, Christmas Boxing Day. And we're heading up to the new year now. So now, this is going to be coming up every single day, uh, the up uploads-wise. But, um, yeah, I didn't really have enough time to record, and to be honest, there wasn't actually that much going on. We managed to take the majority up here of, um, you could say, Western Greece. We did it with really ease. There was actually no point of even recording. I, I was able to auto-resolve, and there was a lot of times where... I can't remember what their names are, but they were they were originated from this island. They kept on, like, taking this island, I'll take it back. And then this would just happen all over my... It would just be like a pirating nation, like the fucking Ironborn. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to declare war on the Bosch, the Boshan League. Now, I wanted to record this because if you guys came back and I'd conquered like nearly half of mainland Greece, you might be thinking, what in the f <laughs> Like, you'd be absolutely befuddled. But now, um, I think it was two turns ago, the Persian threat thing came up. So you can kind of see here some Persians rolling in. There were another two more stacks. Oh, there's one here, actually. So, yeah, we're not doing too good that-wise. Um, so, let's have a look at my army. So I currently have a small army here and a fleet. That's currently protecting Athens at the moment. So I thought if we could take out the Boshan League, we can get four provinces here. Nearly six. We'll be able to get the income and throw back throw back the Persians. We can be the main um, the main kingdom in Greece. We can put everyone in, in under the Spartan banner. We'll be able to take these Athenian settlements as well. So we currently have one army here. We're going to do like an order, execute 66 order here. We're going to smash the provinces because everyone hates us anyway. So we're going to be, we've got one army taking that. We've got another one taking this. And they're all undefended. We've got another army, army here that is poisoned. But I'll be able to take that. And we also have another army up the north here with Epirus. Now, Epirus were my military allies at some point, but they did get wiped out. Um, actually, I took this settlement. I couldn't actually find a thing to subjugate them. A little army rebelled here, and they took the settlement. I was at war with them, so I attacked them, and then uh, I subjugated them. So that's why, um, if you have a look at Epirus now, we're not on the best of terms. Past war with Epirus. I would have gladly given them the independence because they're the only one that semi-likes me because because of my expansion and because we took the capitals, um, which, you know, I just fuck it. We're going we're gonna to take on the world. So let's actually have a look at the strategical overview for a second. So the diplomatic... Well, this is the the faction ownership. So once we take out these guys, we should be able to, be able to take out Macedon as well. Athens have a lot of provinces there, but let's have a look at the diplomatic status here. Yeah, everyone hates us except for these guys, but they hate us anyway, and we need their lands. Um, and then we'll be able to get a decent ship front. Public order, region wealth. So now, speaking of ship front, with technologies, because I've obviously skipped a fair few ahead, I'm actually finished with army. I'm building, na I've got navy. So once I take these new territories, we'll be able to get a lot more money. And we'll be able to use, because I've got like all these additional bonuses for Navy, which obviously Athens has the best Navy in the game. We really need to push up our, our game here. Once we take more provinces, we'll probably go into civil. But at this point in time, we're currently researching what? Minus 10 recruitment costs for all ships, minus 7 upkeep. So, yeah, that should help us quite a lot. So, let's declare war on the league here. They already hate us. <laughs> anyway, so let's declare war. Uh, declare war. The allies, Corinthos. Well, we're already at war with Corinthos, so it doesn't really matter. Does it? So let's take these territories. I'm, I can't believe that there's, like, no armies here. I think there's one. Um, so we're going to occupy these. My generals, yeah, so I don't really care about the dip diplomatic penalty at this point in time. We're already, like, the most hated faction in Greece anyway. <laughs> I would expand, but we haven't got a quite enough money. So let's continue to take these last ones now. They probably have more in the north, actually, but we have four stacks of basically full Spartans, which is fantastic. I don't think we're going to wipe out the faction entirely, and that is because they do have an army... Oh, I can't actually get there in time. Ah, oh, because of that spy. We do have a little bit of money here. I did try to... 
Um, try to bring the spy to yeah temptation. I did do a temptation with my my uh, hero here, which is really quite good at the moment. Um, hmm. I do have some more agents here, however. I probably should move this. I think I stole this one, so we can't move into my. Oh no, we can move into my army. Let's do some military training with you then. Okay. Um. Killer, Cal Killus. It's a pretty decent Spartan army there. How are we going up in the north here? We can't double time because we took that settlement. Um, let's actually have a look at the league again. Yeah, they have one army. They have one small province here. So we've taken two of their territories, which is good. We'll be able to get some money out of that. So what have they got in these? Um, yeah, we can dismantle that. Food. I might keep the rest. So I'm going to dismantle that. We're going to build some more production buildings. So we're going to end the turn. I'm hoping we can have a battle in today's episode. If not, we'll do a half an hour, an hour special. But it looks like the Athenians are stuck on their turn. They might be doing something. So it looks like they've moved their army somewhere. We still have got to take Delphi. And we have to watch out for the Macedon in the north because we've been fighting them a little bit. They basically, I don't know, they just kept on running. Um, I don't know what the tactic was. Okay, so we have been attacked here by a bunch of rebels. I am going to order resolve because I think we might have a battle coming later up. Antagonia. We're going to kill the captives because the public order isn't quite good there at the moment. So hidden Asian exposed. There's quite a lot of them. Troubled populace here. Military sabotage. Okay. Um, we're still not making that much money per turn. Can we get there? Or they just, they're just they just bombarding me with poison. So that's why I can't m seem to move at all. Um, Macedon there is really quite whittling me down. Okay, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to try and... So we've got a 44% chance of temptation sort of thing. Slaughter. We're actually probably better off trying to convert it. Failed. That's not good. So we haven't got any more money to do anything else with that. And uh, we've still got one more turn. I don't think we're going to have enough to buy anything, so we might as well just leave it. I am now going to double time my army, because I'm positive there's not an army at Delphi. I'd be really quite surprised if there was. There's not. So now I'm going to move my army. It isn't in range to take Lamia, which was our former older settlement. How are we going in the north here? Okay, so we're going to double time it down from the mountains. We're nearly there as well. I don't really care about them. Okay, how are we going here? Okay, that's where the, the rebels were. It looks like Macadon has moved an army from the, the north here. So we're going to have to watch out for them. I was going to say, can we put an edict in here or something? Why is it not happy? Province instability building squalor. Okay. I'm trying to think what we're best to get rid of. Yeah, nothing really. We're just going to have to wait it out. But it looks like Macedon's maybe going to be retrying. I, I, it's Macedon, Macedonia. That's how I've always said it. But ever since Rome 2 called it Macedon, and now in this Sparta DLC, they've actually named the faction Macedon, how it's spelt. I don't know what to say. Macedon, Macedon. As long as you know who I'm talking about, it doesn't really matter. It would be interesting to see the Persians. Maybe they might go for the... Are they even at war with Athens? God knows. So let's actually have a look now. Okay, so that army does look like it's going to be pushing up on here. I'm trying to think, should I move this army back? To protect my lands. Okay, we're going to take Lamia. Like, these settlements are just so... Are we just being absolutely poisoned here? Take the settlement. Occupy. We lost one whole cavalry unit. Brilliant. We'll take Delphi now. And this additional income really should help us. We are the main faction in Greece at the moment. And even with that diplomatic penalty, I think, with our just incredible Spartan units, we were able to, I don't know, push through, hopefully. Um, 
But hey, I could be all just talking out of my ass, and we could be absolutely wrecked by the Persian invasion. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like the Persians are at war with Athens. Who are they else at war with? The League here. So it looks like they're, they're starting to make their push. So if they could take out these Athenian settlements, that probably could buy us a little bit more time until we've uh, nearly consolidated all of main, mainland Greece. Oh, so there is an army here, because that's where that army went. I saw it disappear. If we attack, what are our odds? Because it is in a stand formation. But look at my Spartans here. We're actually going to have a battle. So let's assault this. Their army is heavily weakened. And it's also in a forced march. So there's a, a really big morale decrease. So they've got... Looks like... Uh, well, they're, they're, they're the shit as pikemen or the spears. They're probably the second tier. And then there's the third, probably the, or the first tier. However you want to say it. So we are currently deploying how many? Four, eight, ten gold chevron Spartans, not including the general. We have three lots of periodke hoplites, and we have two lots of archers. Artillery, they in cavalry, they do outnumber us because I've only got one, but there's only like half a cavalry unit. <laughs> they are pretty whittled down as well. We should be able to take this settlement quite easily, build up our strength, we need to watch out for Mastodon as well. Um, but if we can take mainland Greece, we should be able to throw back the Impersions and do an invasion on Asia Minor um, later on. So, just need to move my keyboard here. Let's get into the battle. So we're going to surround them as quickly as possible. So what's the best route in there? Because some of these settlements are different. So it looks like there's only one point here. So we're going to go with a, just a surrounding... I do want to put probably the majority of my forces up this way, so I'll put you here. We will group. Hit F instead of G. Um, so I guess another one can go on this side. You can be the second group. And we'll probably put the third group. Hmm. Could go up and around, but I think we'll push through this corridor here. Okay. That would be just fine, I think. I'm trying to think, should I leave? Because this would be... Hmm. I'm going to send these two back with my general, I think. Because I still want a heavy offensive on that side. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, these guys can stay with the general on this heavy offensive. Because this is where I'm going to be putting the majority of my forces. So, we'll put the general just behind. And we'll put my arch units... Just behind there as well. So let's... Um, did I group them, everyone? Nope. These need to be grouped. Let's start the battle, shall we? Um, I think we're right, are we? No, I didn't group these guys up. I knew there was something I was missing. Okay. For Sparta. Okay, so let's double time it in here, lads. So I want you to go about here. So everyone should be double timing it. It looks like... What are they doing? Not really too sure. But we should move up as well, I guess. Oh, if I was there, I'd be trying to hold this pass. But it looks like they're just trying to cover their rear from, from flanking. Or maybe they're trying to push back into this corridor here. Okay, my archers, can they go on heavy shot? No. Because that's usually the best when you're coming up against heavily armored units. Where's my general? I want to see his perspective of this. Okay, I'm going to send two lot. I'm going to send one lot of hoplites to actually run down those spearmen there. The rest of you guys can come in and basically just try charge their hoplites. I'm going to get my archers to hit their other archers from behind. It looks like my other units are probably about to be engaged here, though. Okay. Let's do this. They are holding up a an alright defense. We're just going to hit this as hard as we can. We might even be able to flank another unit around here and get behind there, um, which would be fantastic if we could do that. 
Okay, so it looks like my hoplites are going there to fight their hoplites. Um, my archers are coming in now. My general should sit just behind here. But yeah, try hit this hoplites as quick as possible. I would really like to see this charge. I do have to keep an eye on the others, but try break their front line if we could. It's pretty thin. And it looks like they're actually... What are they doing? Uh, I honestly don't know. So try hit this, hit that, and then try push around there. Can we actually get down through here? We can, so brilliant. Okay, so I'm not going to... I'm going to send... I do want one lot of Spartans, however, so we're going to push two across this way. Okay, archers, when you get in range, try hit their ranged units. Looks like they've actually... Trying to cut off the charge quite well. They're doing it pretty well, but obviously I am a human, so I should be able to beat this. Everyone should be double timing. I'm gonna need my general to Wow, what are these buffs? Into the breach, rally, the fear, intimidate, war cry, war cry group. My god, I'm gonna go with the fear. This sounds pretty intimidating. See if we can push past here. Okay. So it looks like those units have come around here. I want you just to push. Okay, archers. They should be firing upon their archers. I'm going to get my hoplites here that have managed to sneak around to hit these guys from behind. I might even get their units to hit them units from behind. We'll keep this line guys here to try and hit them. Okay, up on the walls here. I really wish I had cavalry in this army. But you can't please everyone, I guess. Okay, so we're going to hit these cavalry from behind now. And that should basically just wreck them. Okay, we're doing well. Utterly start surrounding them. Continue to push. How many Spartans have I got here? Two. Yeah, get some to hit here and then get some to get there. I'm hoping here we're not just getting absolutely wrecked by skirmishes. No, we're not. We'll send these two units in. There's probably not even a point of chasing them. Okay, uh, my general 140 still. So, archers still continue to hit their archers, I guess. Looks like we've broken that line anyway, so we're going to go over here and route... Uh, well, those guys never seem to want to go there. I don't really know why. We've got more flanking maneuvers coming in now, so this should be the end of it. So we'll get these two units to hit. She has two spear units here. Probably want to get rid of first. And then we'll send... We'll send you to go get them. We'll send you to go get them. And we'll continue this on here, shall we? We've actually broken that front line. I didn't even realise. So we'll get my archers to halt now. Move back behind their general because... Wait, we'll even go toggle melee mode. It's just wary in... Uh, I'm just wary from Medieval Total War because I swear sometimes it does. And then you play different type of mods that have it. And it gets really quite confusing quite quickly. So these hoplites here are still managed to hold on. It'll be interesting to see how much casualties we actually lose because of this battle. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this Wrath of Sparta campaign, remember to leave a like. I would really much appreciate it. Okay, we still haven't finished off that last unit here. Um, have we taken the town square, actually, though? I don't know. Okay, it's time to move my general in to just finish them off. Looks like they're all routing now. We might be able to get a, one more charge in. And victory. We'll definitely end the battle there. A decisive victory at that. We deployed 2,480 Spartans. We lost 130 on the battle map. The League deployed 1,308. And we killed 1,122. They killed 126, so they did get... Well, we, we did get four friendly fire kills, which isn't too bad. But, uh, hey, what are you going to do? So... The plan is for the rest of this campaign, we are going to 
try get rid of the last of the league settlements. Just try to get as many settlements as in mainland Greece to throw back to the Persians. Um, but we really do need to get... I can't remember. It's not Macedon. It's the Thessalians, I think. It's just a little bit north to us. We're at war with the world. And I do believe that we can still win this Spartan campaign somehow. I might actually check on the, the victory conditions. But guys, you're most welcome to put in the comment section down below. Constructive... Con uh, constructive... Con Constructive con criticism. I don't know why I couldn't say. Con I can't say it now. I don't know what's happened. Constructive con. Constructive con criticism. I can't say. I can't say it. I'm fucked. It. I don't know what it is. I usually can say that. Normally. Because I usually say all constructive con criticism. Crit constructive con criticism. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't know what is happening. But we managed to take it there. Looks like they have a smaller army here. So. They still have one settlement here. What happened to all their buildings? I don't know. So what are these guys called? The Thessalian League. <clears throat> and then there's Macedon just there. And Corinthos and their remaining territories as well. But I find it interesting that the I... Ion, uh, Ionian League is at war with the Persians. Hmm. We could do a little expedition down to Crete at some point, but I don't really know when. But guys, thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel. And remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you've watched this Spartan Let's or campaign, not a Let's Play. But thanks, guys, for watching. Simsy, out.